Searching through these plans is just one part of the optimization process. The query optimizer still needs to estimate the cost of these plans and select the least expensive one. To estimate the cost of each plan, it estimates the cost of each physical operator in that plan using costing formulas that consider the use of resources such as I.O., CPU, and memory. The cost estimation depends mostly on the algorithm used by the physical operator, as well as the estimated number of records that will need to be processed. This estimate of the number of records is known as a cardinality estimate. That's the word that we see often. To help with the cardinality estimates, or how many rows are in the table, SQL Server uses and maintains optimizer statistics, which contain statistical information describing the distribution of values in one or more of the columns of that table. Once the cost of each operator is estimated using estimations of cardinality and resource demands, the query optimizer will add up all these costs and estimate them for the entire plan. Now keep in mind this happens very very rapidly. Now one aside here, if you submit a very simple query for example, a single table with no indexes and with no aggregates or calculations within that query, rather than spend time trying to calculate the absolute optimal plan, the optimizer will simply apply a single trivial plan to these types of queries. Again, that's the key word, a trivial plan. 